Hello everyone, welcome to my video. Today in this video we are going to work with this model. It's a nice example of smooth surface transition and I wanted to model it for you. Let's start together. I open a new part and in front plane I create the sketch. As always we do, firstly we create our lines and convert them into construction geometry so we can constrain our model better in this way. Height is 80 and here we have a diameter of 67 and later on here we are creating an arc. This arc having a height of 6. For now it's okay. And then later on a spline. The spline starts from there and in this point we are going to a little bit play with our part spline and then here we have a degree of 4 and here we are going to have a tangent relationship maybe it's good that we for a while remove this and then later on move Sometimes program makes this stupid thing for and we have here a tangency value of 80. Here we have a 35 degree and tangency value of 50. We are missing this diameter. This will be 37 and here we have a diameter of 65. And then you will get something like this, as you see on the screen. After this operation, I do close this one. On front plane, I do create one more sketch. A spline starts from there and ends here. What I'm going to do, converting this to, to construction geometry. And I will play a little bit with my spline again to activate control points. Here we had an angle of 4 and tangency value of 80 while we had here a tangency to our circle uh, arc. Okay, we already 4 is constraining then, sorry. And then we have here a diameter of 35 having same angle. 35 and tangency value of uh, 50 at the end we get something like this now what we do here we create a revolve surface axis of revolution this mid plane active and degree 15 first operation is done and we can give a different color to this body now right click Let's give this color and then we click the first sketch and again a revolve. Now same operation, 15 degree, mid plane active and simply this was what we are searching for. And front plane now active and I'm going split line and select the surface and simply I break my surface now. After this operation, on top plane I'm going to create a sketch where I'm going to place a line between this point and this surface break and from there to other side. At the end we have something like this. This is selected and loft active and I do select this edge. After this operation, we are going to select some surface curves here as a guide curve. Center line will be this guy. And other uh, guide curves will be one this and second at the other side. And then we are going to create on first edge here that we select from surface a tangency sorry 
tangents to the face, second, close it, and then we close this. Now we hide revolve once, and then at the end we get something like this, you see. This is our main surface. Now I'm going to create an axis where I can create some circular pattern, what I'm doing. Origin selected, top plane selected, control is pressed, and go axis, create here an axis, and then circular pattern, axis selected, 360 by 15 degree makes 24 instances, this is the body, and then we say OK. So, now I have a group of surfaces. What I need now, the first sketch, first sketch was this, and this surface part. On front plane, I create a sketch, and then I convert this guy. That part is not necessary. I'm going to create here a vertical line, where I can use as a rotational axis, although we have axis, maybe we don't need it. But yeah, because of habit, sometimes I'm repeating and doing some comments. This is fine. We close this planar surface. It's good. And we made, we made a knit. I'm doing this because I don't want to select this surface uh, edges individually. What I'm doing, right click, open loop, because of they are all knitted. And I can select all of them, and I created a planar surface there, and I'm making one more time knit and create solid. So it is good, guys. Now we can make a shell. Shell value will be two, and I do have here a 0 0.5 radius. And I'm going to create here a nice radius by myself. I'm going to look from side. The display state is good. And then on front plane, I create a sketch where I plane a spline here only. Tangency, a tangency to the surface. This is becoming a little bit hard for program. Let's remove it. It is going to create some problem. It didn't work in this way, but I'm going to create here a line and I'm going to make this line tangent. Now it is working. Yes, sometimes it's good to try different ways when you are dealing with this kind of CAD programs. And I will have a height of five is looking fine in fact five let's give it and here maybe we can change a bit dimension 65.5 let's try i think we are ending somewhere really at the end of radius this is for an example we don't need to be that much critical now i created here a closed surface where can i make a revolve with that revolve cut and I cut the part nicely yes you know these parts on the glass is always quite smooth in back these both smooth edges and frogmod allows me to add anything extra and in fact with this last comment we finalize our model if you change your display states, you will have a really nice uh, view. Look at that. It is looking very nice. And we have really smooth transition, transition from a polygonal view to a circle. I think it is a really nice example. I hope you like my video. If you like it, please hit the like button and make a comment. See you in another video.